Thank you for tuning in. I will be showing you how to wire the sequential DRL and puddle lamps properly with basic hand tools. You'll need a Phillips screwdriver, a flathead, a plastic prying tool, a ratchet wrench or ratcheting drive, and a 10 millimeter socket. You also need miscellaneous electrical tools like electric tape, some posi taps or butt splices. I do apologize about the exposure in some of the footage as I just purchased a new camera and didn't have the settings adjusted. Audio was also distorted for some of the footage so I merged the drivers and passenger install as one install. If you're new here, consider subscribing for more content like this. And as always, make sure to destroy the like button. All right, so first things first, you're going to push on the mirror here. You're gonna see a white clip. You're gonna pull inwards on the clip and then you're going to start working a plastic tool I use this here to wedge the cap out work your way from the base at this point you're gonna have just this portion here um, exposed and loose and then you're gonna want to kind of pull back and up and pop this right off now you can install the sequential turn signals onto here and just have the sequentials. But if you wanna have the puddle lamp, you're going to have to actually remove the door panels. So let's go ahead and start removing the door panels. So first thing, you're going to want to lift up here on this cover here that's covering the screw for the door panel. It's a rubber piece. Use a very skinny flat head screwdriver and you can lift it right up. And you're gonna expose a Phillips screw. I'm using a Phillips screwdriver. And that is screw number one. Now you have another right behind the door handle. And that's gonna expose a bolt which you'll need a ratchet set to pull out now with that bolt out you're gonna pull off this little rubber stopper here and start pulling back on the door panel So now with it, all the clips pulled off from this surrounding area, you're gonna want to lift up. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and remove the OEM turn signal. So now pry down on this black piece here so you can expose another screw from here. Be careful not to do it too much because then you will break the plastic. Then you're gonna wanna lift the top up and pull back. Put a flat head screwdriver in here and take this clip off. All right, so you're gonna connect the red wire to the red and yellow striped, and then the ground, which is the black, you're gonna connect it to the yellow and black. Now, if you wanted just sequential, all you needed was that. However, if you want puddle lamps, you're gonna have to wire the blue, white, and black into the door handle. Okay, so now we're I'm going to pull this off here and get to three nuts. Those through, now with those three nuts out, you can pull the head, you can pull the mirror out and unfasten the clip to release the harness. And now we have the mirror out. With the mirror off, you're gonna want to take the tape off 
that way you can run the wires right through the mirror assembly all right so now that i have the sequential power and ground all taped up i'm going to go ahead and pass these wires in through here this will get tucked in here nicely these wires will get tucked in here nicely make sure the plastic film is not underneath I'm going to try to leave it on so I don't scratch it during the install and now we're going to go ahead and screw in the screws for the light so we got the light already positioned and screwed in now we're going to go ahead and pass these cables so I managed to get these in and now I'm going to tape off the other wire so I can use it to fish it in as a line. Whichever one you get in first, you're going to want to tape the other cables or wires to it so you can fish it through much easier. So now you have the cables through the first hole, pull this off and route the cables through the smaller hole right over here and using that tape method you can fish the other line through now reassemble the plastics and now we're going to connect this harness to extend all the cables all right so actually before we uh, attach the wires you're going to want to tape this off real quick with some electric tape since we took off the factory blue tape all right now we have it all taped up we're going to go ahead and pass it through i'm going to go ahead and start with the smaller wires then pass through the oem harness Be careful not to let the light fall back. You'll want to put at least one nut back onto the screw. So now that we have the mirror bolted up, the plastic back in place, we connected the harness. We passed through the sequential wires. I pretty much used the harness that came with the lights. I plugged in the pins into the corresponding wires made sure you know I matched up the wires blue with blue wire with white black with black I pushed them into they locked at first I was worried that it wasn't gonna lock but it did if you're concerned about this connection you could just use butt splices and crimp them but I pretty much just uh, taped them together here and made sure that they weren't touching and the way I did that was wrapping individual the individual wires and electric tape so they don't short each other and then I bundled bundled them up together here so now we're gonna go ahead and tap into the OEM harness so we can get power and ground to the puddle lamp and the RL in order to do that you're going to want to remove that black metal plate now this is the 100% correct way to get the correct lighting and connection for the puddle lamps if you connect it anywhere else, you're pretty much going to get power to the puddle lamps and they're always going to be on. You kind of want them on only as a welcoming light. And the plug that you're going to connect it to is right here. This is the harness that you want to tap into right over here. So what you're going to do is just slide it off. Or you could just unclip it and take this electric tape off, pull back on the insulation and expose the brown wire and the black wire. Now what you want to do is actually pass the cables through this grommet. And I found the easiest way to do this 
is to get a very thin pin sized screwdriver and I pretty much punctured a small hole into the grommet okay so I ended up cutting the wires I also spliced them open and I'm gonna connect the blue wire to the purple and I'm gonna go ahead and actually pass the cables through the grommet all right so after everything here is connected I removed the black plate to expose this harness here you tap into the gray wire being ground and then you tap into the brown being positive I pulled this grommet off and I made a small micro puncture with this right here and I tied the wire to the end of the tip and I pushed it through then using that tape method I fished the other line right through and I pulled it and now I'm gonna put this into the hole and then wrap it around wrap it around this entire harness that way it's out of the window track and it doesn't get caught all right I ended up switching cameras that way I can get in here as you can see I wrapped it around that harness and I tapped into the correct wires now what you're gonna want to do is connect this back I'm gonna wrap this in electric tape just so I don't have any exposed moisture or water getting inside the posi taps. So now I'll slide this back in place here. And now let's route the blue cable and tap into the purple one here, which would be the DRL. This is the power to the DRLs, purple wire with the blue. Now let's go ahead and tidy this all up. Boom, just like that. I ended up, you don't, you guys don't have to do this. I just wanted a nice, neat look. So I ended up wrapping the blue and, I'm sorry, the white and black wires and blue as far up as I could here. All the way up to here, I tie wrapped it to this harness here. And then the blue one, I just pretty much passed it through the factory clips here. Ran it down and I wrapped the posi tap. So now I'm going to put everything back together in reverse order, metal plate. Please make sure that this is actually not rubbing with the window track. Make sure that you have it correct, uh, wired correctly, routed correctly. So put the metal plate back on, all 10 millimeter bolts, and then put the door panel back on. You're going to want to put the door panel first from the top down so it clips onto here and then lightly tap around the edges and then your screw and bolt before you install the mirror cap back just make sure that all the lights function i already made sure that it does so i'm gonna go ahead and install my brand new carbon fiber honeycomb mirror caps and voila if you guys are interested in purchasing these lights or carbon fiber mirrors, I have them. So just DM me on Zilla Full Boost or comment down here in the section. But it would be best for you to DM me on IG.